hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is Adeze if you're new to my channel and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for clicking on this video this video is actually for you guys because a lot of you already know my story kind of at least a lot of you already know that I met my husband on social media so in this video I'm going to be telling you the how the why what platform you know how did it all happen okay yeah so if you'd like to know my story about how I met my husband on social media then just keep on watching now you guys bear in mind that i met my husband in 2010 okay we met i think either Jan i think late january 2010 okay now bear in mind that at that time it wasn't a popular thing for people to meet on social media and then get married from there it wasn't popular at all i didn't know anybody at that time who did that okay the only news i knew about social media was oh they will scam you you will meet for one niners you will meet ritualists you know this girl met this girl on social media when she went to his hotel room he killed her you know that was when i think it was around that time that there was this popular story of a girl that was killed in a hotel in first stack or a guest house in first stack um i think she was the daughter of, she was the daughter of a general or something i don't know I don't, I don't know if you guys remember that story but i think around that time it was raining anyway the point is that it's not like now that sliding into dms is a thing it's not like now that people are getting married you know in different different ways i mean we even have the love is blind experiment those are the things that we're seeing now but in those days it was almost like eh you from where social media how you know i'm not saying that there were no people that there were not people that met through social media at that point and got married i'm just saying that it wasn't as popular as it is now okay so yeah just bear that in mind okay <laughs> so because of that during that time i wasn't the kind of person that would respond to you know facebook inboxes or you know to my inbox in general i wasn't the kind of person that would respond to my inboxes you know these guys that will come to your inbox and be saying hi hello hello hi hi do you know <laughs> you guys you know the funny thing one time i was trying to delete messages from my inbox on facebook and I saw some people that have been saying hi, hello, hi, hello, hello, baby, hello, baby, since 2009. And they are still saying it till 2020. As in, you've been messaging somebody since 2009 till today. You are still messaging hi, hello, hello, baby. How was your night? Did you sleep well? How, hi, hello. And I wasn't even responding. Even in this 2020 that the world is coming to an end, Antichrist has come. Everything is turned upside down. <laughs> Instead of you to focus on your heavenly race, you are still DMing me to be telling me hi, hello, with all the anniversaries I've posted, all the childbirth I've posted, all the all the husband picture posts I've posted, you are still DMing me hi, hello, hi, hello. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, so yeah, um, I was the kind of person I was responding to messages so that's why this story is kind of unique and the reason why i wasn't responding to messages it's not like i never responded to messages at all but if you're a kind of person that's just coming for hi hello very mundane discussions i'm sorry i will not respond to your message that was like that's how i was then and i wasn't really adding just anybody to my you know just mostly facebook just facebook actually so i wasn't just adding anybody to my you know as a friend on facebook then i, I had to see that okay we have some friends in common or you know I just had to just be comfortable with you before I'll add you as a friend on Facebook. It's not like now that I'm adding everybody, anybody, anybody that sends me friend requests, I'm going to add you. Why? Because I'm a businesswoman. I need the audience. <laughs> All of you are potential customers. So anybody that finds me on Facebook and sends me a friend request, I will add you if there's still space because I've exceeded my 5,000 um, limits. Okay? Friends limits. Yeah. I've exceeded this several times. I even had to delete some people, and then I and I still exceeded this several times. But anytime there's space, send me a, send me a request. I will add you on Facebook. So yeah, I said all this to just set the is it set the scene? I don't know what they call it, but to just you know that's the preamble of what happened next. Okay, so in 2010, I still remember it was January simply because. I was in school and we weren't doing much. You know how when people just come back from Christmas break, you know, most schools don't really do much until maybe February or something. So I was in school, I was bored, everybody was around. It wasn't like people are not in school, everybody was around, but we weren't really having classes, maybe one class in, in two days, you know. So I was just bored one weekday and I was going through my friend request and then I saw this young man, okay? I saw this 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 young handsome looking man okay and he took a picture beside i remember the profile picture very well he took a picture beside um 
a water park either a water park or a pool i don't know what it was but i know that there was like pool he wasn't wearing swimming trunk or anything he was dressed in a t-shirt i remember a blue blue t-shirt that had stripes on it yes okay so but he was just sitting by a water park and i was like mm, this person looks like a good person don't ask me how i know but i just felt like this person looks like a good person um i will i will um, respond to his friend request okay but i checked our mutual friends and i realized that it's only one person that we had as mutual friend i think only one person yeah either one or two people but we didn't have that many um mutual friends so i was just like how did he even find my profile because it's not like you know we have that many mutual friends uh, you know and all that anyway i shall said well whatever i'm going to add him he looks like a good person and also <laughs> i've not told my husband this part i don't think i've ever told him this part and to be honest i don't know whether my brain just erased this part i remember that when i saw his um I went through his profile, okay, I went his profile, I just thought that it wasn't someone that was, you know, putting too much out there. He didn't have too much information on his profile, you know, I had to do some digging to be able to find out, okay, you know, where is he? In fact, I don't think I knew his location at that point, but yeah, he didn't really have much on his profile, but I was curious and I said to myself that if this person sends me a message, I am going to respond, okay? I was almost sure that he was going to send me a message, okay? Because you guys, forget what you are saying now. Back then, I was a holly. I was a holly. <laughs> Don't mind me, job. Back then, I used to feel myself a lot. So, I, I just knew that this guy is going to send me a message. And whenever he sends me a message, I'm going to respond, okay? Yeah, so, this one, I was, I was not responding to messages then. Anyway, so... Some days passed, he didn't send me any message. I was just like, ah, oh, this one, I'm monitoring spirit. He didn't send me messages and he also did not respond. He didn't, um, he didn't, um, what is his name? He didn't comment on my pictures. He, I think he only likes my pictures, but he didn't leave any comment on my pictures. You know, he wasn't responding to my posts. He wasn't commenting on any of my posts or anything. So I was just like, ah, now wow, what kind of guy is this one? <laughs> because at that time, I was used to anybody I had as friends who come, oh, they will laugh at all my jokes. They will like all my pictures. If I even post pictures like this, everybody will say, oh, beautiful girl. Oh, baby, this one. <laughs> so I was used to that kind of attention. But this one just came like a monetary spirit and he wasn't giving me that attention but i just saw that he, could, he was liking my picture so anyway i was still bored so on a saturday yes i remember it was a saturday i just saw you know inbox you know when you have messages in your inbox new messages I said, ah, let me go and check sha only for me to go to my messages i now saw a message for him i was just like ha, i knew it <laughs> i was like oh i knew it finally like it's about time and you guys see I've told my husband this thing several times that that his initial message that he sends to me if it was the normal me i won't respond again the normal me will just say hey, what's wrong with this one i won't respond again okay but the reason why i really responded to him was because number one i said i was bored and number two it was something just so different about him okay now you guys listen now remember that i'm used to getting hi hello baby how was your night did you sleep well why do you keep asking people about how was your night my night was not fine because i, I was seeing you in my dream chasing me up and down <laughs> My night was not fine. I don't know why people keep asking me how was your night. Okay, so I'm supposed to tell you, oh, my night was this, man. I don't understand. Anyway, so I was used to such messages. I was used to people coming to my inbox to tell me, oh, you're so beautiful. Oh, I wish we can be friends. Oh, I'd love to meet you someday. Oh, I'd love to get your number. That was what, that's what I was used to seeing, okay? But this particular person came and said, um, hello, my name is Charles. This is, uh, his name is Charles. Um, that he currently stays in, um, he was staying in Worry then. I currently stays in Worry and that he just felt this connection between me and him that he doesn't really know what it is he can't really place a finger i can remember the message very well and i regret deleting this message i deleted this message like one time i said i was deleting messages i forgot and i mistakenly deleted the message only for me to now go back and try to find the message i couldn't find it i was so burnt anyway yeah so the message was something like um I felt this strong connection between us. I can't place a finger on it, but there's something about you that you know that is drawing me closer, and I feel like there's a connection between us. You guys, normal me would have said, "Hey, hey, happy Allah, <laughs> they have come." Oh. <laughs> when I even heard messages, I was just like, "Connection, bow, connection, go, empty and me, biko no." I said, Biko, what was, which one is connection? But for some reason, that message actually haunted me. Let me put it that way because I remember I didn't respond immediately. 
but the message kept haunting me like <laughs> just wanted to find out what this guy means by connection and the reason why i didn't respond when i saw that connection i was just like <laughs> who is this one because you know but something just kept taking my mind back to it that this guy said he, he, he sees a connection between you and i said you know what let's even let me just humor this guy let me even ask him what he means let me see what he has to say but in my mind i just concluded that this one this one this one <laughs> i don't I, my heart no dead here for this time <laughs> so I now asked him, what do you mean by connection? He now said that, okay, he now responded that, to be honest, he cannot place a finger on it, but there's something about me that is drawing him closer to me and that he feels there's a connection between us. Remember, I was like, there's always something about anybody that draws you closer to them. So, oh God, be specific, I beg. Don't make it look like it's something spiritual, you know? Because that's where my mind was going to that. Maybe he was trying to come from a spiritual angle, you know, and, so, and stuff. Of which now looking back maybe it actually was from a spiritual angle but the truth is that I didn't understand what he was saying and even he himself because I kept probing him he himself did not really understand you know exactly what he was saying okay so I now said let me just humor this guy I beg and board not say what was the worst that can happen so I now said okay oh, so how are you you know where do you stay and I said asking him questions you know he was responding he now said that can he have my number that he would like to call me and all that in my mind I said hey, we've not finished talking you're asking me for number like won't we establish connection first on the on the internet before you now start connecting me on the phone <laughs> you know but he just kept asking my number. I just said, you know what? Let me just give this guy my number. What's the worst that can happen? You guys, that's how I, that's how I ended up here now with two children. What's the worst that can happen? That's how I ended up taking somebody's last name. <laughs> so anyway, I said, anyway, what's the worst that can happen? I beg. Let me just collect the highest thing. He will say something that I don't like. And I'll stop talking to him. It's no, I mean, it's not a big deal. Okay. Yeah, and at that time, to be honest, there are people that I have met through social media also. Although it wasn't just directly from inbox, we had talked a lot, you know, either through posts or inbox. You know, we had talked enough a lot before we now, you know, became friends. As in, before I started talking on the phone and became friends, okay? I have actually met one physically. Um, I remember then he indicated interest in, in, you know, wanting to marry me. But I told him I'm not ready, okay? I am not ready. So I wasn't ready, but part of why I kept telling him I wasn't ready was because, to be honest, I didn't see myself married to the guy. Even though I liked him more as a person, you know, I liked him as a person, you know, he was a very funny guy, he was he's a nice guy, he's a nice guy. But I just did not see myself married to him, okay? That's for one. Now, the second one that I liked. And I also saw him as a nice guy too because it's the way I vet guys anyway. The kind of question that I'll ask you, your responses will tell me whether there's something wrong somewhere or you're just a normal guy, okay? So these two, I had already asked them questions, you know, that made me feel like, okay, I'm comfortable with them. So the second person now, he was also a nice guy, you know, he would call me a lot. He's called me a lot in school, send me credit, you know. He was a really nice guy, you know, he would call me, I had call him, call him, call him. He will not ask me to do any credit. He will send me credit when I want to call him. He will not. He won't pick the call. He will cut the call and call me back. Even though he used to send me credit, you know. That sometimes he will send me like two thousand naira credits in one day. Imagine, imagine two thousand naira credits as a student in two thousand and you know two thousand and nine, two thousand and ten. It was a lot then. He will send me credit. You know, we'll talk, 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 talk. Why did I not date this guy? In fact, the guy even helps me recover my laptop. You guys have directed, I've digressed a lot, but whatever. Anyway, this guy even helped me recover my laptop when it was stolen. That's a story from another day. Anyway, all the way from where he was, he was in Abuja. Then I was in, I was in Ibadan. He helps me recover my stolen laptop all the way from Abuja. So I liked this guy. He was okay. Why did we not hook up? This guy said. I should come and see him in Abuja that you know because Ibadan does not have airports that don't worry he'll pay for my flight ticket I should come and see him in Abuja I said oh God I know they come if you want to see me if you are if you are that interested in me you are going to enter flight and enter bus eh? you will not die if if bus is your problem then uh, uh, charter a taxi to take you from Lagos to Ibadan but me I will not carry my two legs and go and see you first okay I'm not saying I can never go and, go and see anybody I mean you guys know from my story about how my parents met my husband if you've not watched that video I'll link it somewhere here okay so but you guys know from that story that I actually traveled to go and see you know my husband then but in this guy's case first meeting no you must come and see me first the guy kept insisting that okay if i'm not comfortable that he can even pay for me and a friend of mine and he'll put us in a hotel just so that i'll be comfortable i said i know they go okay and that was that's basically how me and that guy did not you know go further than that so so it's not, i'm just saying all this to tell you that it's not like i've never 
talk to anybody outside of social media but yeah i i really like vet them very well so but this one was a case of well i'm bored let me just talk to him many <laughs> it can't hurt it can't hurt so and i finally gave him my number then the next day i remember the next day was a sunday yeah so the next day after service um i was on my room i was in my room on my bed you know then a call came in and it was him he was not like how are you um how, how, how are you doing blah 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 i said oh, i'm fine how are you blah 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 we started talking 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 so we started just in general just you know about school about my about his work um and i asked him okay what did you go to church today i think he said no either he said no yes i can't remember what his response was but i now said okay what church do you attend he now said that where he is now is not his current location as it's not his, it's not his permanent location but he attends i can't remember the name of the church he said he attended was it mountain of fire or something i know he said he attended one church but he now said yeah but what what does that matter that to him he can go to any church that doesn't have a problem with churches he can go to any church that we all worship the same god you know we all worship you know we, we are all christians i said don't bow oh god no 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 <laughs> you guys our first meeting our first communication on phone we actually argued that day you know and i said no 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 me i don't believe in that one no i don't believe in it okay i yes i believe that we are all christians but the body of christ is not yet unified to the extent where i can just walk into any church and just worship with them any day like we were not that we're not that unified okay he started giving me examples about you know muslims that whether muslims can go to any more i said i don't know anything about muslims okay i don't know anything about muslims but i know that they are more unified in their way of worship than us okay i can't go here and pray with rosary tomorrow go here pray with uh, olive oil <laughs> go here pray with handkerchief uh, go here pray on the mountain go here not wear shoe go here wear shoe go here not wear scarf go here wear scarf like i can't do that i need to be in a you know in a family okay i need to be in a church that's a family where i'll grow and growing up too with my parents we always attended the same church father and mother children the same church father and mother used to sit down together my father and my mother they, were, they are known in any church that we go to that that couple that sit down together dance together give offering together everything together <laughs> even when they want to share you know men stay here women's fellowship stay here children fellowship youths is all right. it's because my parents should not leave each other you know so i grew up with that mentality of you know growing a church serving that church so i told him oh god that, that, that's not gonna fly with me okay it's not gonna fly because for me i believe that you should be in one church i don't care what the church is but whatever church you choose whatever church you believe is your you know the right have the right doctrines for you then you have to be there he said no he doesn't believe in that that you know um even the body no that even um christ wants wants the church to be one or something i can't remember what this argument was but i said yes i understand what you're saying i understand but that is the perfection that we are striving towards okay that's the perfection we are striving towards at as at this time as at as at na 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 churches are not that unified so i don't believe in it he said okay me i said okay you know yeah it wasn't really like we didn't really argue so much about it but to me i was just like this guy doesn't want to agree with me eh <laughs> I was shouting to them, but my mom was like, why doesn't he want to agree with me? Which one is, which one is that uh, you can attend any church? And I'm trying to explain to you, you are still telling me your own. Because at the end of the day, he said yes, that he understands where I'm coming from. But to him, it's not really a big deal. <laughs> but me, I said, oh guys, it's a big deal to me, you know. So, but yeah, now we all, we both attend the same church. He now, you know, attends one church and grows in the church, okay. But as I then, he said he doesn't believe in it. Anyway. So we now talk. I say, ah, that was nice talking to me. My friend, I was like, nice talking to me after we just finished arguing. <laughs> so it was nice talking to me, blah, 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 that he'll call me the next day or something. I said, okay. So after he caught the call, I was just like, this one that does not want to attend one church. I don't know why it was such a big deal to me, but I was like, this one not to attend one church. I'm not even sure I'll pick his call again. Ah, but I liked him, Sha. <laughs> but I'm not sure I'll pick his call again. And I liked him because we talked a lot about so many things and he's an intelligent person okay i like when i can have intelligent conversation with intelligent people and someone that i can banter with let me not say argue with because me i like arguing <laughs> i like arguing too but someone that i can you know banter with you know we can just throw you know points across without anybody getting hurt or feeling you know insulted or whatever you know yeah i like that about him but my mind was like but he's supposed to agree with me that this one church is the way to go <laughs> 
Anyway, so so after that we start talking every single day, you know. He'll call me in the mornings before he goes for his training, he'll come at night when he comes back. We'll talk for a very long time, you know. It was just like he was my work that week, like you know, but the next week after that, classes started, okay? So there was a day he didn't call me. I think he didn't call me the first day. I was just like, ah, this guy, you know, when you're already cutting someone calling you morning night, calling night. You know, he didn't call me the first day. I was like, ah, should I call him? I said, no, I'm not calling him. I'm not calling him, Joe. <laughs> you know, this kind of childish behavior. I was like, ah, he's not going to call me. Then I'm not calling him. I didn't call this guy to even ask him, okay, what happened though? I mean, someone has been calling me for the past one week. I didn't call him the first day. The second day again, he didn't call me. I, ah, I started getting, you know, this guy should call me now. <laughs> I was childish, man. You know, this guy should call me now, you know, he didn't call me. So the third day, I remember that I was in a cab, I was going to school. So he called me, you know, I couldn't hear him while we were in the cab, you know, cab now, it was very noisy. So, you know, I told him that I'll call him back when we, you know, come down from, when I come down from the cab. So when I came down from the cab, he called me again. So when he called me, I told him, how are you doing, blah, 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 where are you, this one, that one, that one, I told him, he told me where he was. The next thing he said was, how will you feel if you are always calling someone and the person never calls you back? I was like, excuse me? What are you talking about? <laughs> and I said, I don't know what I'm talking about. He now said, uh -huh, he's the one that's always calling me and I never call him back, okay? That's when I now put two and two together that the guy deliberately did not call me for that past two days. I was just like, oh, this guy. <laughs> and I said, oh that the reason why i have not called you is because most times you always call me so but that's but to be honest that was part of it okay like that first week when we were talking like almost every time he was always calling me like clockwork so i didn't really have that opportunity to miss him and then call him or something but even when i got the opportunity i didn't call so anyway my bad anyway so i now told him that oh i'm really sorry don't worry i'll try and be calling you now blah 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 so I remember the next day i now called him i was like i've called you now i've called you now don't say i don't like calling you <laughs> don't say I don't like calling you. I've called you now. That was just why I just call you once. I've called you now. He now laughs. I now started talking. He now said he wants to come and see me the next week. This is everything I'm telling you was just happening like back to back, back to back. So he's going to come and see me the next week. And next week was like, was it Valentine's week? It was Valentine's week, but he couldn't come on Valentine's Day because of something maybe because of his work i think he could come the weekend after why valentine's day was during the week i can't remember but it was valentine's week so he said he would come and see me in school i said if you want to come that's fine you know but it made me feel good because like i said the other guy that i met was telling me i should come to abuja and come and see him i'll pay a hotel bill. i'll be paying a flight ticket <laughs> that's not how he talks so i'm just saying <laughs> But I just saying that you put my flight ticket. Yeah, that one, that one was busy. On that call, you read one side. Meanwhile, this one's already making plans to come and see me straight up. And in this one's case, there was no flight self. There was no flight from Wari to Ibadan, so he had to enter bus. Okay, how many hours sitting inside bus to come and see me? I don't like his touch buses. So you know how all those buses we are there now. You know. So when he said he's going to come and see me in school, I was like, oh, that's nice. You know, I was really happy and I felt. You know, good about the whole thing. Hey, this one, you see, better person. Hey, come, come and see me. Come and see me. <laughs> so he said he will come and see me. You know, for Valentine's Day and everything. And everything. I said, okay, no wahala. So I remember then I was trying to get my hostel. So he now came to school to come and see me. You know, he called me that. Oh, that he's in Ibadan now. That where can he stay? That he needs recommendation for a hotel where he can stay. I said, oh, I, mean, I don't know about hotel for this town, no, you know. I know they had some good hotels, so I didn't know any, I didn't know much about hotels then. So, I mean, if you guys have watched any of my story times, you know what I mean, okay? So I didn't I didn't know much about hotels. I said, okay, that we have a guest house in school, and there's one hotel near my school or something that he should, when he comes, I'll take him to the guest house and we'll see how it goes. So I remember I was in my hostel there. He now called me that he's in school. He's in front of my hostel. I was just like, oh my god. <laughs> you know, it's very easy for you to be talking to someone on the phone and don't be just be talking anyhow, talking anyhow, because I'm not seeing the person physically. But when it's now time to meet the person, like in person, I'm just like, oh my god. So he called me and told me that he's um, at a tree in front of my hostel that I should come out. And I was there walking slowly. I remember I walked slowly and I now peeped first and checked and saw him. I said, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I can't proceed. <laughs> I can't proceed. So I went to meet him. He was on a call, you know, so. 
That reminds me, I'm going to say things from his own perspective later, okay? Yeah, he was on the call and everything. I heard him tell the person, don't worry, I'll call you back, I'll call you back. You know, he now called the call. Oh, how are you? Blah, blah, blah. He said, I'm fine. This, that, this, that. Okay. Um, let me take you to the school guest house. And I took him to the school guest house. Is that they said that they didn't have room or a bit the, the guest house is for lecturers only or something? I can't remember what their story was, but he couldn't stay in the school guest house, he had to go and stay in the ho in the hotel outside of school. So I told him that okay, he should just shall find his way because I need to go back and go and sort out my hostel issues. So he told me no wahala, he now left as I went to sort out my hostel issues. So later he came back to school, we went to eat, you know, we talked and talked and talked. Basically, that period, he stayed just three days. I remember he stayed, yes, he stayed three days. He came on a Friday, left on a Sunday morning. So, he stayed two days. Anyway, so that Friday, you know, we hung out, he gave me a gift. Okay, so Saturday, same thing, he'll come to my, he'll come to my, you know, school, and then we'll hang out, we'll eat, you know, you know, just... We shall hung out a lot that period. We hung out a lot and we walked a lot, like strolling, you know, a lot. So we just, 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 just when it's nice, you go and me, I'll stay back in my hostel. So on sun Saturday night, yeah, Saturday night, while we were talking, he now told me that he would like to, you know, walk down the aisle with me. I can't remember what we we're talking about, but I remember this conversation very well because I was just like. Hmm. This guy does not know what he's saying. Like, is it because I allowed you to come and see me? <laughs> Even though I liked him, I was just like, I like him, but it's not like that. It's not, he never reached like that now. <laughs> so he told me that he likes me and he would like us to get married. I said, okay, yeah, that's that's nice. That's nice. That's nice. So that's nice. He said, yeah, that he would like us to get married um that year. That's 2010. Like us to get married in 2010. I said, huh? It's again, eh? You guys, that's how he proposed to me. Oh. All of you that they used to plan special proposal, put rose petals, this one, the, the music, uh, surprise this, I, the ring. You know, they, they, they didn't need that for me. Or they didn't need that. They told me, like, you know, conversation, I want to marry you <laughs> this year. I told you that, see, first of all, we just met. Second of all, my parents will never agree for me to marry you. Try not this year because my father had always said it that he doesn't want his any of his children to get married while in school. He doesn't want any man to say, oh, I paid your children's school fees or whatever. He wanted to train his children to the end and whatever he wants to do after that, that's your business. But while they're in school, no. Okay. So he told me well, to marry me that year. I said, oh, no, well, but my parents are not going to agree. And my mom was like, <laughs> no, don't come and be going back to your, to your worry. <laughs> you know the funny thing? My husband did not care that I wasn't, you know, giving him the right response. I don't have to explain it. He was so sure that I was going to marry him. He even said it today that he knew I was going to marry him. So he didn't have time to waste time to be. Like I said before, he did not, he didn't, he wasn't like a typical guy that would be laughing at all my jokes and be doing. One thing he did though was he kept staring at me a lot. I was just like, guy, <laughs> this is your staring. And he has these very intense eyes. Um, Eva has eyes like that too. So, okay, you know, Eva is his, practically his twin. Eva has eyes like that. These intense eyes, I'm mean, not looking at you as if they are seeing into your soul. So then I remember he used to stare at me a lot. Like when I'm talking, just seeing something, he's just looking at me, almost not blinking, you know. So that's the only thing that showed me, okay, this guy really, really, really likes you. But aside that, just like a normal friend, I was just like, I'm going to marry you, you know. So I was like, I was just like, ah, this guy has got so anyway. Do I come and be going? And let, let's see, marry, come, marry me. <laughs> yeah, so um, he now went back the next day, um, Sunday morning. So after he went back, you know, and I started liking him more. Maybe because I already met him, you know, so the, the like now is from level 1 to like level 50, you know So we used to talk during that period. We were always talking always talking on the phone Then he came to see me two other times in school before I now went for that worry trip So if you guys don't know the story of how my parents caught me going to see man Then um, I'll leave the story in the description box or somewhere up here so that you guys can go and watch it. Okay, so yeah, um while we're talking, I told him that okay, I cannot marry you this year because my parents, I, I didn't want to bring it up to my father. Like, <laughs> my father would say, Oh, so you are that unserious that this man you are thinking of in 300 level when your mates are, are, are planning their future. <laughs> You know that's why I didn't even bring it up to my I didn't even tell them that he want they wanted to he wanted to marry me, okay? So from his own perspective, let me tell you guys how he found me. I told you guys that we have only like one or two mutual friends. We had only like one or two mutual friends. So let me tell you guys how my husband actually found me on Facebook. Now he was staying in a house with room housemates. Okay, so 
they had like four people staying in the house so he had his own room three other people had their own rooms you know they were there for something so they were all friends that were staying in that house i don't know if you guys get what i'm trying to say so he was going to see let, let, let me say he had friend a b and c okay he was going to see friend b but he had to pass through friends he, was, he had to pass the front of friend a's room to go and see friend b so as he was passing friend a's room he saw and it's literally the person's name starts from a so anyway he saw friend a on facebook with his facebook friends um page open you know when how when you click on your friends all friends list to just show you i don't know about i don't know if it still shows like that now but remember then it used to show friends to show their names and their pictures small small icons small icons though so my mom said that when he went there to greet that his friend he saw my profile picture from far and he went and said who is this person okay now the person who is the mutual did you guys you know how facebook icons are small small i don't know i don't know if i can explain this very well especially when you have plenty of friends and you open your friends list the icons are very very small so how he went to my picture i don't know so he was like who is this person the guy that said oh it's one guy that one girl that you know that he that is friends with him on facebook like and to be honest me and that guy have never even spoken before like i know maybe he had commented on my picture or my post or something but me and the guy that is our mutual friend i don't know him even till now if, if you tell me this is the guy that you know i don't know him anyway so he my husband asked him for my name he now went and added me on facebook and that was you know the rest is history okay so that's um one side of his story now when he came to school when i said he was at the, on at the, um, he was making a call near the three it was friend b now remember i told you he was going to friend b's room you know and he passed friend A's room. So friend B, he told friend B about me. He told friend B he was coming to see me in school. So when he was on the call, what he was telling friend B is that, yeah, I'm, I've seen her. She's coming right now. She's more beautiful than, you know, she even looked in pictures. She even looked better. She even looks better in person, okay? <laughs> that was what he was telling the guy. So that she even looked better in person. Because I remember him saying something like, yeah, better, better. But he didn't want to say it that well. He said, yeah, better, better. Or something like that. Before he not the person, I'll call you back, okay? So like, apparently i look better in person <laughs> it's so crazy thinking about it now how this how this whole thing started like a joke it's not like okay no the truth is that i actually saw myself being married to him like i told you that in that guy's case where i liked the guy i met him in person but i didn't see myself married to him so even when he kept asking me i told him i see i'm not ready you know and i remember when i told him i was getting married i told the guy that i was getting married to my husband i remember when i told him he said but you told me several times that you are not ready <laughs> you know but the truth is that yeah i was not ready because i hadn't found the right person so but when i met my husband for some reason i felt like I, I could see myself getting married to him okay i asked a lot of questions and so many things that he said he sounded like a husband he sounded like a daddy you know when someone is a, a daddy material 100 1000 yards okay he sounded like a daddy he sounded like a husband material okay so i could even though i could see myself married to him i was still forming like <laughs> like I, i'm too hot for this like i'm too hot for this like you can't just come here and just tell me you're going to marry me without you know going over the top to try and impress me you know <laughs> so yeah that was it that was how i met my husband on facebook and that reminds me you guys i didn't tell my parents i met my husband on facebook so mommy and daddy if you are watching this i'm so sorry <laughs> i'm so sorry <laughs> you guys i've contemplated telling them several times i'm just like hey if i tell my parents my parents will say how will you look at me so much on facebook where i supposed to be in school that's why i didn't tell my parents we gave my parents one dragon story about how my husband came to school to see one lecturer the lecturer was doing something and to be honest the story we told my parents it wasn't a lie like the story in particular wasn't it happened but that's not how i met my husband do you understand so we gave them another story as how i met my husband that was not how i met him but the story itself wasn't a lie so please if you forgive me i'm sorry so one thing that i'll say to anybody who is interested is this any man who wants you is going to be urgent about you as in oya de who ye who like i don't have to speak it in english his body will be will be drawing him like he won't he won't have that patience to be waiting for you forever he will want to marry you as soon as possible i have seen it in different versions of people's how i met my husband stories one thing i have heard consistently is that 
the men were pushing it was it was hungry in them they could not wait they could they were not patient they were not they were not here to play games they were not ambiguous like you won't <laughs> they were unambiguous about what they wanted it's not like oh does he like me does he not like me it's not left for you to not be doing calculations and be drawing a uh, uh, this thing chats okay it's not it's not about that a guy who really really wants you will be urgent about you he will be he will he will, he will go through mountains to get to you i don't have to explain it but just have that in mind whenever you are thinking oh does this guy really like me or maybe he doesn't really like if you're getting mixed signals from a guy trust me most times the case is that he's not really sure about you he's, he's not really sure about you he's trying to keep his options open he's trying to you know do other calculations okay because a guy who is certain that he's going to marry you is going to <laughs> make everything he's going to make it happen like he's going to make it happen you will be the one if you're not interested to tell him guy no 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 no, no. calm down no please no please no please okay you'll be the one it's not going to be the other way around it's not going to be a guessing game you don't need to ask him if that's what is you know in fact if a guy really wants you you're not going to be asking him where is this relationship headed he's going to be telling you where it is headed like you'll be like it's almost like you're a <laughs> you're a passenger in your own uh, car i don't want to explain it i have heard a lot of um, how I met my husband's stories in most cases the man was like this girl is mine Okay, so yeah Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching if you liked this video Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys Mwah.